Hello, I'm Peppa Pig. Would you like to be my friend? <sighs> Peppa cannot wait to tell everyone her news. Mummy, Daddy, George! Hello, Peppa. Hello, Peppa. <sighs> I'm so excited. Why is that, Peppa? I'm going to meet my new friend. A new friend? Yes! <gasps> and who might this new friend be? I don't know. They're new, silly. <laughs> I'm going to show them Snowy Mountain, the beach, everything. Even Potato City. Peppa is excited to play with her new friend and explore all the brilliant places in her world. That's a good idea, Peppa. Yes, Daddy. It's going to be so much fun. So when is your new friend coming to play, Peppa? Very soon. I can't wait to play with them. Dinosaur. It looks like Mr. Dinosaur wants to play with Peppa's new friend, too. <laughs> <laughs> Phone is ringing. I wonder who is calling. Hello, Peppa. Hello, Danny. Danny Dog is Peppa's friend. His house is next to the forest. I am having a birthday party today at my house. Do you and your friend want to come? You'll need to dress like a pirate. A pirate birthday party? We'll come right away. Don't be late! Mummy, Daddy! Please can we go to Danny Dog's birthday party? We're going to play pirate games. Ooh, pirates. I can't say no to that. Off to Danny Dog's house. have arrived at Danny Dog's birthday party. It is a pirate party. Ahoy! Ow, ow. Welcome to my pirate birthday party. Yaha! Here are your costumes. I can't wait to see everyone dressed like pirates. <laughs> Hello, Peppa. Thank you for coming. And thank you for bringing your friend. Ahoy there, little pirates! Ahoy there, Hi there Dum -dum 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 Dog! Call me Dogbeard. <laughs> Today you will need to find the lost treasure of the pirates. Ooh! The lost treasure of the pirates is a very special treasure. It's so important, it's actually four treasures in one. How can it be four treasures in one? Good question, Danny. You see, the pirates of old didn't want anyone to find this treasure. So they split it in four parts and hid each part in a different place. Four parts? But we'll never find them all. They could be anywhere. Oh, but you're in luck, Pepper. I know where they all are. The first part is in the back garden of this very house. Ooh! But what about the rest? The second part was taken from me by my rival, the dreadful Captain Hog. 
Though some of you may know him as Grandpa Pig. <laughs> the third part is buried on Treasure Island. And finally, you'll have to look for the last part in the Caves of Gloom. Hey, that's by my house. And mine. Yes, well, the caves have had many different names throughout the years. Now, grab a map and be on your way. Yes, we found the map. It looks like the treasure is hidden somewhere in the back garden. Let's go there. We need to go this way. We need to go this way. We need to go this way. hunt and see if you can find the other pieces. You have found a piece of the treasure. Well done. Ahoy, pirates! We must head to Captain Hogg's hideout to get another piece of treasure. Are we all ready? Aye, aye aye! Hold on there, pirates! Before you get on the boat, you need to put on your life vests. I like life vests! You can get on the boat now. OK! Go on then, climb aboard! Anchors away! Full sail! Ah! The sea breeze! There's nothing like it! Aren't we on a river, Grandad? But of course, Daddy! And it carries the sea breeze with it! Now, this puts me in the mood for a song. The Jolly Pirates Three, the Sailing Blue Sea, to find the golden treasure for sale I <laughs> give <laughs> 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 Hello, little pirates. You have almost arrived at Captain Hogg's hideout. I'll give you a little tip. The treasure is hanging from the trees. But be careful. Captain Hogg himself is protecting it. So you have to find it without him seeing you. Good luck. I hope there are no pirates here trying to take my lovely treasure. Let's get the treasure, but don't let Grandpa see it. Hello. 
Who's there? Is someone trying to steal my treasure? Job, you got the treasure without being seen. Good job, young pirates. You're close to finding all the parts of the treasure. The next stop is Treasure Island. The next part of the treasure is buried beneath its sands. My boat is this way. Follow me. Onwards. At full sail. What's that? It's a message. We need to take it to Granny. What's that, Peppa? You're a very lovely band of pirates. Really? Oh, yes. That's true. Hooray! Grandpa Pig is taking you for a day out on his boat. You will be going to a very interesting place. Everyone on board? Full sail! I'm sure the formidable dog beard has warned you about me. The formidable? That's right. I've had many an adventure with that fearsome pirate. It was during our last adventure, in fact, that we found the grand treasure that you are looking for today. We couldn't decide who should keep it, so we split it and hid it in four different places. What's that? It's a metal detector. It finds buried treasure. Ooh! When the beep sounds faster, it means you're getting closer to the treasure. Oh, it's 
瑞奇啊。And you too. You are the first to find the treasure on Treasure Island. It's all yours now. Well done. You are a great treasure hunter. And thanks to the metal detector, you have found the treasure hidden on the island. like a bug. That's a very old bug. Is that a seashell? Did you know that if you put a shell to your ear, you can hear the sea? Yes, that's true. But you can hear it when it's far away too. We need to go and find the treasure in the Caves of Gloom. Pirates. Can we go home to look for the pirate treasure? Of course. Climb aboard the um pirate car. Did you know 
I used to work as a treasure hunter myself. Really? Yes, but the hours were too long. Shiny! Shiny! Parts of the treasure with you, haven't you? Yes, yes! You did a very good job finding the treasure in my back garden. And you managed to get all the treasure in my hideout without me seeing you. You found the buried treasure in the island. And the hidden chest in the caves of the world. I see you have a new friend. What are you doing, George? Dinosaur! <sighs> <laughs> Mr. Potato! Do you like Mr. Potato? Pepper does. <laughs> Let's play with this. <laughs> I love the sea. We should go to the beach sometime. Granny and Grandpa are going to take me. <laughs> Why don't we <laughs> ask them? Why don't we go visit my Granny and Grandpa? The house is just ahead. Let's keep walking this way. Granny and 
isn't Grandpa's house. This is my Granny and Grandpa's house. Grandpa is always in his garden and Granny takes care of the chickens. This is Granny and Grandpa Pig's house. Pepper always has a great time here. Polly Parrot imitates everything you do. Why don't you try jumping or making a sound? Oh no! Polly's food bowl is empty! She must be pretty hungry. Why don't we go and get some food so we can fill the bowl? Pepper. Ah, I see you've brought a friend. Hello. Have you seen a chicken around here? Yes, Granny. She just left. Oh, my. That won't do at all. Pepper, can you and your friend help me find the missing chickens? I don't think they will have gone very far. Yes, yes, Granny. We will find them. It seems Granny's chickens have left their coop. Why don't you help her by bringing all of the chickens back? chickens left. <laughs> Thank you. I think there's still one chicken missing. Last one. All of the chickens are safe and sound now, thanks to you. Yeah. Grandpa, what is this for? Oh, that is called compost. It's a special muck that I use to fertilize the veggies. Be careful, though. It's very smelly. What does fertilize mean, Grandpa? It means it will help them grow bigger and be even more delicious. Why don't you try putting some in this patch of land?
Hello, Mr. Bull. What's going on here? Hello, family. Hello, children. We are in the middle of doing some repairs on this road. What happened to the old road? There were some bumps caused by the tree's roots nearby, which made it dangerous to drive through. Not to worry. Mr. Rhinoceros and I will take care of it. I'm sure you're very busy. We'd better be on our way. Hmm. Is there a way to go through? Oh, yes. You can drive right by the road. Be careful. Oh, I see. Thank you. Goodbye, Mr. Bull. Goodbye, Mr. Rhinoceros. Thank you for fixing the road. have arrived at the playgroup, a place to learn and play with Pepper and her friends. That old, George. Dinosaur. Mm, it looks very nice. I think I would make a great queen. I would sit around all day and eat all <laughs> the ice cream I wanted. It appears that you and Pepper are now royalty, and you can have. Anything you ask for. Is there anything you would like, Your Majesties? Yes. We want ice creams, please. Of course, Queen Pepper. I'm sure you would make a great queen, Pepper. It's a real dinosaur, one that lived many, many years ago. <laughs> dinosaur. Are you with us, George? Dinosaur! It seems that George has found his favourite room. Welcome. Are you here to join me on the trip to the moon? Jump aboard the rocket train! Mr. Rabbit is the tour guide. He knows a lot about the universe. Are we really going to the moon? No, Pepper. It's just pretend. That's right, Pepper. It's just a pretend moon. Now, all passengers, 
Hold on tight to your seats. We are about to take off. Three, two, one, blast off. All right then. Does anybody know what these things hanging from the ceiling are? Are they planets? Precisely. And do you know the name of the planets? Oh, um, not really. Oh, I know one. The Earth. Very good, Daddy Pig. This is the Earth. We also have Venus, Mars, Neptune. What's that? Ah, this is a satellite. Satellites fly around the world so we can have TVs and the Internet. Really? But how do they do that? It's all magic. And we've reached the end. Please exit the rocket and continue to the next room where you'll see the moon. Ah, there you are. Peppa's house. Back home. Grandpa's house. This is my granny and grandpa's house. Grandpa is always in his garden and granny takes care of the chickens. This is granny and grandpa pig's house. Pepper always has a great time here. Polly Parrot imitates everything you do. Why don't you try jumping or making a sound? Oh no! Polly's food bowl is empty! She must be pretty hungry. Why don't we go and get some food so we can fill the bowl? I'm planting seeds so that new plants will grow in the garden. Do you want to help me? Yes, please. What do we have to do? Well, for starters, pick one of the plants in the garden 
and grab a seed from it. Any plant? Yes, Peppa. Whichever you prefer. Mm. But I don't know which one to pick. I know. Why don't you help me pick? Help Peppa and Grandpa grow a new plant in the garden. Go to one of the plants and pick up a seed. Did you grab a seed? Well done. Now come back and plant it here. First, make a little hole. Now put the seed in. Cover it with earth and water it. Fantastic! Now a new plant will grow here. Will it take a long time, Grandpa? Oh, yes. Plants grow very slowly. Make sure to come back every once in a while to see how much the plant has grown. Good job. You have planted a new seed in Grandpa's garden. Make sure to come back here every once in a while to see the plants grow. Oh, that is called compost. It's a special muck that I use to fertilize the veggies. Be careful, though. It's very smelly. What does fertilize mean, Grandpa? It means it will help them grow bigger and be even more delicious. Why don't you try putting some in this patch of land. We could go and help Grandpa pig in the garden. Grandpa's house. This is my granny and grandpa's house. Grandpa is always in his garden and granny takes care of the chickens. This is granny and grandpa Pig's house. Pepper always has a great time here. 